Hi, Mott Road. My name is Ken Foresti, and I'm the author of The Adventure Eagles Explore Australia. I'm so excited to read the book with you. And one of the big reasons why is because uh, the person who helped me write the book is my daughter, Olivia, who went to Mott Road, and she's here to say hi real quick. Hi. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Olivia. Hi. Uh, I'm going to tell you a great story once again. It's about two eagles who love to explore the earth. And I'm going to pull up and share my screen because we're going to try some fun things when it comes to uh, this read along. So first thing I'm going to do is share my screen so that you can actually see the book. We're going to bring that up and we're going to bring up the book right now. And here's the cover of the book, The Adventure Eagles Explore Australia. Once again, written by me, but it was illustrated by an incredible illustrator, Melinda Maycock. And we're going to go through the book right now. Uh, and let's start off with page one, and we're going to get going. It's going to be a fun little read here. Here are our two eagles, and we're going to begin the book with Emmy and Enzo Eagle. They are bald eagles that live in the United States of America and love to explore our world. Uh, today, they are very excited because they're going on a big adventure to the country of Australia. And you can see here on the map where Australia is. And I'm going to bring it up on Google Maps as well. So you can see here, we're going to go over to Google Earth. And there you guys are at Mott Road, which is pretty exciting. And now let me show you where they're going to go. They're going to go all the way. I'll move myself down here from Mott Road in New York State and travel all the way to the country of Australia. It is 9,841 miles. Uh, to get to Australia. So let's get back to the book. All right. Since it's too far for them to fly with their wings, Emmy and Enzo are going to Australia on an airplane. Their boarding ticket says they need to get on plane number three. Can you guys find plane number three out of these three planes right here? Hopefully you see right there, the plane has the number three on a wing and it's right there in the middle. So that's the one they're going to begin boarding. Once everyone is buckled in their seats, the pilot says, prepare for takeoff in 10 seconds. And the plane starts to speed down the runway. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up, up, and away. While they're on the plane, the eagles sit quietly and play some games and have some healthy snacks. Uh, they take a nice nap so that when they wake up, they'll have lots of energy for their Australian adventure. Can you guys name some healthy snacks to have and some games to play when you're on a long trip? And you can see from the picture over here what some of the eagles are doing. They've got some healthy fruits and some fun games to play. Okay, now we're going to go out back to our Google Earth, and I'm going to actually show you kind of where they're going. So we're going to pretend they're starting off at Mott Road. And we're going to get on that plane and we're going to go all the way to Sydney, Australia. And so here we go, taking off across the earth, all the way past the, over the Pacific Ocean to the city of Sydney in the country of Australia. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys here so you can see what it looks like. Sydney is a beautiful city. You can see it's right in a harbor. And I'm going to even bring you a 3D view of the city. And you guys may know Sydney a little bit from a famous movie uh, like Finding Nemo. Um, part of it took place in the Sydney Harbor. So you can see here Sydney right here, pretty cool. All right. And we're going to travel throughout Australia. But right now we're going to get back to the book. And we'll pull that up. Great. Now, after a long flight, they finally land in the Australian city of Sydney. The Eagles see the Australian flag and get their passbook book stamped, giving them permission to explore the country. Do you know that every country has a different flag? Pretty cool, huh? So Emmy and Enzo find their good friend, Cory Kookaburra Bird, waiting for them as they get off the plane. Kookaburra Birds sound like persons laughing. And Cory shouts, good day, mates which is the Australian way of saying, hi, friends. We're going to let the adventure begin now, exploring Australia. 
So you can see Corey spends a few minutes giving the Eagles a tour of Sydney Harbor and they all zoom under the big Sydney Harbor Bridge. I'm gonna give you guys a good look at that on Google right now. So let's go back to Google Earth and then we're gonna take an in-depth view of the Sydney Harbor Bridge. We're gonna zoom right in. And it's an incredible bridge, very beautiful. You can see all of the city of Australia. And let's go into 3D mode so you guys can check it out. And there it is. They even give tours of it. It's such a great, cool landmark in Sydney. Okay, we're gonna go back to the book now. And we'll carry on. All right. The eagles use their super eyesight and spot their kangaroo friends. Good day, mates, exclaim both Caden and Kylie Kangaroo. This is the world famous Sydney Opera House. Inside you can watch amazing performers sing, dance and play music. Can your eyes find the kangaroos? And hopefully you guys can see them, they're right over here. All right, cool. Suddenly, a head pops out of Kylie's tummy pouch. It was a baby Joey kangaroo. The baby Roo then said, good day mates, my name is Kenny and I'm almost a year old. Kenny jumped out of his mom's pouch and then asked, would you like to jump with me as I sing a special jumping song? Everyone said, yes, it's great to get some good exercise. All right, so we're gonna go and check out Kenny's jumping dance. So Kenny told everyone to start jumping. And then he sang loud and proud. One, two, three, four, let's jump some more. Five, six, seven, eight, jumping is great. Nine, 10, 11, 12, jump together or by yourself. Jump fast, jump high, jump and try and touch the sky. All right. So before we go on to the next page, I do want to give you a little better picture of the Sydney Harbor and the Sydney Harbor Opera House, since it's an amazing place. So we're gonna go on Google Earth and we're gonna zoom right next to the Sydney Harbor, you can see is the Sydney Opera House. Just an amazing place for music and plays and dance. And it's just a beautiful building and it's very acoustic. Uh, and that's why they designed it in that shape. So you can hear music and just incredible view. There's a nice view. Okay, we're gonna get back to the book. After exercising, they said goodbye to their kangaroo friends and took off in the air. Come follow us, we have somebody else we want you to meet. They flew until they came upon a eucalyptus forest. With the help of their powerful eagle eyes, they spied their friend, Chloe Koala Bear. Can you find Chloe Koala Bear with your eyes? And hopefully you guys, you can see her eating her fa favorite food, eucalyptus leaves. Good day, mates, Chloe said while chomping on a leaf. Eucalyptus are koala bear's favorite food, once again. Emmy and Enzo said, we're on our way to explore the Great Barrier Reef, the largest coral reef system in the world. Chloe asked, can I come along for the ride? The bird said that they would be happy to help a friend. So Chloe hopped on Enzo's back and off they went. Emmy and Enzo said, we are on our way to the Great Barrier Reef, the largest coral reef system in the world. As we said before, I wanna make sure you get that nice picture of the reef. It's a very cool, you can see all kinds of plant life and coral and, and sea animals and maybe even a little Nemo there and some dolphins and turtles, incredible. That might even be Crush from Finding Nemo too. Okay. When they brought Chloe back home, she gave each bird a eucalyptus leaf necklace and as, as a special thank you gift. That made the birds feel really good inside. It is wonderful to have good friends. Before heading back to the airport, the birds had time to fly inland over an enormous rock formation called Uluru. The rock rose high into the air and is said to have magically changing colors. It was perfect timing because as the sun set, 
as the sun was beginning to set, the big rocks started to glow, a radiant orange and red. So I'm actually gonna take you out of the book for a second. We're gonna make a quick pop over to the coral reef and then also to Uluru. Uluru. Wait till you see them in person. Here we go. So the Great Barrier Reef, like I said, an incredible reef full of plant and animal life right off the coast of Australia. It's so long, it stretches for uh, over 2,900 uh, kilometers of individual reef and lots of many islands. And now let's venture to Uluru Rock, right in the middle of Australia, practically. Such an incredible sight. The rock is almost 3,000 feet tall, and we can give a little 3D perspective of it coming up right here. Look at that. Just comes out of the earth, out of nowhere, in a practically, uh, you know, a flat desert. All right, let's jump back into the book. Once back at the airport, the Eagles hugged and thanked their friend Corey for helping them explore Australia. Corey then presented the Eagles with a special Australian flag adventure pin. Pretty cool. Sitting on the plane ride home, Emmy and Enzo talked about their favorite parts of the trip. What was your favorite part? Maybe later you can discuss it with your teachers or your friends. As the airplane picked up speed, Emmy and Enzo say the Adventure Eagle Creed. May we learn and grow wherever we go. May we always be kind to whom or what we find. And may we always treasure this most exact excellent adventure. Adventure Eagles away. Emmy and Enzo were so happy that you could join them on their trip to Australia. Uh, they both shout out loud, you're welcome to come on an adventure with us anytime. And for me, it was great to read to all of you at Mott Road. Uh, I hope you have a, a great day and a great time exploring the world. And we hope to catch you real soon with another adventure from the Adventure Eagles. Thanks and have a great day.